Hi, Mabuhay! Welcome back to the adventures of Mr. Travels, and as always, I am Victoria. So for today, um, I'm going to show you how I got this look using Bretman's Rock Lit Palette, which is collaboration with Colourpop. So if you want to see how I actually use this and my thoughts about this palette, stay tuned, keep on watching, and Let's get started! Okay guys, if you're not familiar who Bretman Rock is, he's one of, a, one of the famous YouTubers who is actually based in Hawaii and he's also a Filipino. I love him. I know he's an acquired taste because he likes to curse and swear a lot but I find him really funny. So when he came out with his collaboration with Colourpop, of course I have to buy it. He actually launched like two types which is lit and wet. I gravitated more to the lit palette just because if you can see the palettes is like this. The color is more on to the like warm neutrals which I am. I don't have the box anymore because I used it as an art piece. <laughs> I did a little DIY project. So this is how the palette looks like. It's so pretty. And then when you open it up, you have like eight shades. It doesn't have a mirror which is not a deal breaker for me because my eyesight is kind of bad so I need a big mirror when I do my makeup. But if you see, these are all like warm neutral shades that you can actually wear every day if you wanted to and then at the back is of course all the shade names not forgetting the shade names are also at the front of the palette if you notice i've been using this palette for quite some time now but before we get into the eye look how i actually got this eye look um using almost all of the colors actually um let's do some swatches first okay for the first row we have or whatever it's a matte warm peach next would be mercy it's a vibrant metallic cranberry next would be macchiato it's a matte warm red brown and Clio Amore a matte bright canary yellow so that's the first row for you guys okay let's go to the second row this would be she got money it's a metallic deep gold next is period it's a matte deep coral next is like it's a matte deep raspberry and last but not the least is Bading. It's a soft pink with a peachy gold duo chrome flip. So that's the second row for you guys. So we'll be dipping into whatever and take just one big fluffy brush and then we just we put it all over our eyelids all over as in all over i'm not too sure <clears throat> whether you guys can see <laughs> this is kind of dark outside and i don't think my lights are like strong enough so let's do one eye first then it's going to be easier i just hope i would remember uh, okay and then Take another fluffy brush and let's dip into and it's called Clio Amore. Amore. Then again, tilt and put it on just above your crease. Dip back, tap, do that outer thing. The outer V and then drag it above the crease. 
look straight into your mirror when you're doing this so that you would know where you're placing the colors which is nice and when showed wiper motions so that you would be able to blend and then was ever left with your brush pinch it and run it under your lower eyelid and then drag above actually I don't know what I'm supposed to do like what look all I know I want to use yellow because this yellow is like can you see that it's pretty so just and then again with the yellow to intensify but I would be concentrated at the end there's something funny about my voice today I don't know why Am I falling sick? I hope not. School holidays are just around the corner. Let's get a smaller fluffy fluffy <laughs> fluffy brush and we're going to dip or like use period. And now I want to concentrate on my crease. So again, find your crease. Is there and then just like um, intensify it make sure you don't go over the yellow it's going to be just in your crease where your actual crease is because I just want to deepen it up so again we show the wiper motion I'm not going up so my brush is actually straight it's like going into your eye socket and then dip a little bit for that outer V and again as I've said before it's easier to build the color than erasing them actually so you will be keep on dipping dipping is fine and you just build the color up so that you will see whether you know just keep on blending you can do um circular motions too if you want to but i'm more of a swipe 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 type of person and then that's it then again what's ever left on my eyebrow eyebrow eye brush I would just like put it under the, the lower lash line and then for don't forget to drag so it would be your template on how far you can drag your eyeshadow it's fine then next I'll take a this is the part that I'm confused. I actually want to use this budding or do I go to <sighs> she got money. So let's take a flat like this type of brush. What do they call this? I'm not so sure. So I'll go to I will go to budding and like tap it tap the excess and then look up start from the in um inner corner can you see how pretty it is and just tap 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 we'll be putting it all over your eyelid the lower lid you know when you were having like like smaller eyelid space you have to invest on like small brushes I actually like it and then go again like all over you can actually stop here but as always you know I'm extra then I'll go to like Take it in another brush. Now let's work on the outer corner. 
So tap tap tap. Just at the outer corner. To put some definition. And we'll blend it in in a bit. So now we're playing with red. Just make sure you don't go over the yellow one. So you just tap 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 at the outer corner. Oh my god, this brush is prickly. And it's a Morphe brush. Can you see? Don't dip. Um, drag it a bit, a little bit over your eyelids. Eyelids crease. And then just brush blend. Don't bring it all the way. So just concentrate here. Then again. Build your color slowly. Again, what's ever left in your brush, but this time around is concentrated at the corner. So you don't bring it like all over. So just at the corner, then drag. Then drag. Then look. See whether you need to touch it up. And just blend. And then get this brush that we use with the yellow one, which I actually forgot which one. Which is the brush. Oh my goodness, Victoria, are you crazy? So this is the brush that we used just now. So let's go back to Clio more. Just dip then tap. And then we're going to use this to blend all the colors in. Just ever so slightly. Put your hand at nearer to the end of the brush. And then tilt and then just blend it. Blend, blend, blend. So this part you're just cleaning it, cleaning it, cleaning, <laughs> cleaning it up and blending, and you are just keep on going back to where you want to actually like clean it. Like if you need to intensify your crease, just keep on going back and just. Intensify whatever you need to intensify. Get the get an eyebrow brush, and then we're going to dip into macchiato, and then um, press it just above your eyelashes, upper eyelashes. Press it as near as possible. But when you get to the corner, you don't drag it down. Just end it um, at the same line as your lower lashes. So again, but you can see I'm not like starting from this point, the inner corner. So just three quarters in. Oh my God, my eyes are beginning to water. Just press it in. For hooded eyes, this is a very good technique. I actually don't like my voice, but anyway, it's a good technique. I like palettes that have like deeper color, darker color, I guess. Because I can use it as eyeliner. Can you see? And then deep, like, dip back again. And then do just half of your eyes, lower eyelash. Then drag it a bit. 
So you would have a little mini ring. So it's like a full ring. If you see, shoop, and drag. And then we'll clean it afterwards. So that's it. Um, I'll finish the other eye. It just needs um, mascara and all and I'll be back. Okay, now both eyes are done. So we just need to clean it up or just make sure that everything is blended. So I'll take the, the brush that we use for Cleo more, the yellow one, and just like blend, blend, blend. And then the first one that we actually use for whatever and just brush it off because you want people to see that there's a, a space between your eyebrows and your eyeshadow and use it tap it a little bit and then you can do this if you don't want to use the concealer technique Use the same base, clean your under, under lashes, under what they call this, and then especially the corner. Since I already have my base on, I can't use a wet wipe. Okay, do for the, for the same side, clean, again, pinch. So that line would be like straight, clean, makes you want your eyes to actually go up and then curl your eyelashes again, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one eye first. So curl both eyes, by both eyes, both eyelashes. Count one, two, three, four, five, six. My eyes are tearing up. Oh my goodness. That's why I don't want, I don't like to put like eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line because this is what usually happens. But if it actually completes the look, I don't do this every day, like every time that I go out. I'm just doing this for the video. Or unless I'm going out somewhere, then I do that. But my favorite, the Essence Volume Mascara, the purple one. So again, mm -hmm. Okay, so mascara on, let's um, do like final touches, get a pencil brush like this and then you can either use the one that we start off with whatever but I'll use budding, then dip and then I'll just put like tilt and open at my inner corner. again so that it would give an illusion that you have bigger eyes than what you actually have and then whatever I have left I would put it underneath my arch And that's it. So let's go back to the video. So that's how I actually got this eye look. And frankly speaking, it is true that these are wearable neutrals that I do prefer. At first when I was looking at this palette, I didn't um, 
I thought that I would not be able to use Clio Amore because it's yellow but as you can see it's actually a wearable yellow and I like it this is one of my favorite colors actually in this palette so the shades are how do you say it you have to build them up because for me pers uh, personally it's always about me personally um, I would rather build up my eyeshadow like start as as in a minimal amount of shadow because I don't want to keep on blending 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 and actually this eyeshadow is very good let's go I love this eyeshadow because you can just dip it into the palette and then tap 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 the excess and then just put it over and then from there you can just build it up up to the intensity that you actually like and then it's blendable I mean not like other ColourPop eyeshadow what am I doing Victoria you already finished your eye look go and ruin it go and ruin it stop stop but you can actually build them up and if you're a beginner it's going to be easy for you to work with this unlike other ColourPop eyeshadows that I have that is too pigmented that you know I don't enjoy using it but I'm enjoying this palette so much but they do have fallouts so if you can see underneath my eye there would be some glitters it's because of this eyeshadow palette and I like to do this I don't know why okay just clean it up okay I also also I think I'm falling sick I think I'm falling sick just because it's going to be a school holiday I'm falling sick I also got the Bregman Rock lip lipstick kit let me know at the comment section below if you want me to swatch this for you guys. It does come with like three sets. So let me know because I don't want this video to be so long. And this is actually red which would actually clash with my makeup. So I decided not to use it. But if you're interested to see swatches, how it actually applies on my lips or how it would look on me. Let me know at the comment section below. So ending the video now because as always I like to ramble so if you like this type of videos wherein I show you guys how to create a very like simple look for hooded eyes I have hooded eyes and to make it worse I have downturn eyes as in like I have like but I love my eyes because they're the window to the souls <laughs> If you like this type of video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I try to upload new videos. So till my next adventure, please remember to be courageous, kind, and a blessing to everyone you meet. Bye!